into basketball when my local team came to my school. I'd just had operations and I was really isolated in school, I didn't have many friends. They came into school and we did a PE lesson with them and then I was told that I could go quite far with them if I wanted to. I started walking, did a charity walk and then it kind of just rolled from there, did long distance running and it actually wasn't until I kind of found myself back in quite a dark place, stress at work, that I walked in here and uh, it's just, it, it's a, not an understatement to say that it completely changed my life. I went and joined the Couch to 5K programme found I absolutely loved it, made loads of friends, everybody was really friendly and supportive and once I'd done that I was hooked and I actually cancelled my gym subscription and kept on running. I got roped in really to be fair if I'm going to be honest. I was there um, when my friend used to play and she, I needed somebody to spar with at boxing so she came to spar with me and I came to football. I got to that stage in my life where I just wanted to feel better about myself and the, the amount of peer pressure out there for women to lose weight, it was unreal and I just thought, right, it's time to do something for me for a change. I actually watched one of my friends do the London Marathon on the telly and I really wanted to have a go, so I have applied for a charity place um, and got a place, so that's how I then started. So I started uh, karate as a child, I've been training since I was about six year old. Um, kind of one of those odd questions where I was invited along to my sister's ballet class and then I said, no, I want to go try karate instead. So that kind of started it all off. I've never been totally unfit, but I've never been very keen on exercising. But last year I had a diagnosis of cancer. Um, and if I hadn't been as fit as I was with the baseline fitness level I did have, Last year, although it was hard, I think it would have been an awful lot harder. So, however you're feeling, get out there and just get your body that and your mind that little bit fitter. You never know when you're going to need that extra bit of health and fitness and strength, really. For me, I've gained another family. So I've gained another little community which I can have support or just a quick chat to. And come out and have a good sweat together. Puts a smile on my face, I'm smiling now talking about it. <laughs> and makes me feel good. I went through quite a horrible trauma and as part of my recovery, um, along with lots of other people supporting me, swimming was the one thing that I could do um, on my own. Um, it gave me solace, it gave me peace, I could focus on my breathing. Um, and whenever I went, I could cry without anybody else seeing me cry, and it was just for me. Um, and just having that rhythm of swimming up and down, up and down, up and down, it just, it was almost like I could go into a meditative state, um, which, when you're going through a really hard time, for me anyway, my mind was just going into overdrive completely. So for me, it was, it was like a therapy. I went to their training session and I got in the wheelchair with everybody else and everyone was the same, like able-bodied, disabilities, everybody was the same. We left the training centre and I basically said to my mum, it's so nice to be normal and feel like everyone's the same. It's definitely made me feel more confident and like just more motivated to go into sport more. I've always used exercise to control my stress levels. We all need to look after our mental health and that is my main thing, to control my stress and my mental health. And my confidence has improved, you're outdoors, you see beautiful places that you probably didn't know were there. You end up like having like a family, like you end up protecting your family's class. It's a laugh if anything mm -hmm. as well, like yeah. training. Yeah. It's never dead serious. You've Even the final was just it. a joke really, mm -hmm. like it was everyone just having a laugh. Um, we all just enjoy it as well, yeah. keep your feet. I've never been in such a supportive environment that it is here. Um, and I think that's what people forget sometimes. Exercise isn't just about going and smashing some weights, it's about being around people that are like-minded and are trying to push themselves as much as you are and it brings out magic really in people. Fitness as a, as a thing as a whole, you can't have a sort of a fit body and not a fit mind and it really just sort of makes you feel well-rounded and, and generally happy and healthy. Feeling more myself, improving my mental health again and my confidence level, working out with a group of women who I know are going to support me, guide me and I can hopefully do the same for other people. So 
I think there's a lot of opportunities for women in Cumbria. That there's quite a lot of men-based sports. Even basketball is very men-dominated, and it seems that there's only a few women that actually want to do it or try to do it because of the men. Um, I feel like body image is very important to some women, and they can't get over that to get through it. So women can sometimes feel a bit self-conscious, particularly if they think they're not going to be instantly good at something, or if they think somebody's going to judge them. Um, but nobody's instantly good at anything. It takes hours and hours of practice to do anything really. So the, the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get to the stage that you want to. One of the first barriers that I had is I didn't think I'd be able to keep up with other people. I didn't think my impression of a running group was that you had to be a really good runner. Um, so one of the key things that attracted me to the Cheetahs was that you, you don't have to be that and you can join a beginners programme and you will be supported. I think a lot of it's kind of like confidence as well and um, just having somebody else to support you like the first time you go somewhere even if they then like leave you afterwards. And then I just think ladies and sport I still think sometimes people think it's not for them and we can't be as competitive and we can't be as fit and we're the same we can do it all just as good. One of the things that stop women from you know doing this it's um, confident it's just yeah self-conscious you're like, oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, I'm conscious of my body. Oh, well, you know that, you know. So that's basically why I am here, is just to help you, even no matter the size, to believe in yourself that you can do it. You, you know, let, love yourself, love your body and tell yourself, I can do it. Don't so, think about just it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> the more you think about it, the more you can talk yourself out of it. I'm just trying to like, show people that they can do it, if, even if they think they can't. Look for beginners things to start off with because then you're all in the same boat. That's what I did. Fight the bullet and do it and just go for it. Message mm -hmm. the clubs, Twitter, Facebook, anything. Yeah. Get in touch. Everybody's dead friendly. Um, just come to a training session, yeah. Just mm -hmm. see how you find it. To just do something for yourself and to, to be you again instead of just a mum. We often say that to the mums, like the greatest gift you can give your child is a healthy you and that self-care isn't selfish, you know, you've got to take that time. So you've got a happy mum, you've got a happy baby, that's, that's kind of what it's all about. And that first kind of lesson, two lessons, whatever, might be a bit uncomfortable as you kind of find where you are with it, but once you get going, it's like the start of something really great and enjoyable, so. It seems intimidating, but everybody really is there, wants to support you, wants to help you and encourage you. So it, although it seems threatening, it isn't because yeah, it's a big, big happy family. You're made to feel welcome and they're doing it to support you. So it's just that first little step of coming in and meeting everyone, which is scary in anything, but it's just pushing it aside and just going for it. You know, you don't just have to look at Instagram and sort of go, oh, well, they're, they're in a gym lifting weights. That's what I must do. Not at all. Just do your thing and find your thing because there is something for everybody. And, you know, it doesn't have to be competitive. Um, like I said, it can just it can just literally be going out for a walk for 10 minutes a day um, and you you will reap massive, massive benefits.